What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEstentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna use the extension Shape Bender in order to bend um, kind of like a uh, metal panel type shape so that it curves and uh, we can make it repeat. Um, if you're looking for more great SketchUp extensions, make sure to check out my guide to SketchUp extensions at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash extensions. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you're gonna need two extensions to make this work. You're gonna need the extension Shape Bender and you're also gonna need the extension Weld. One thing I wanna note about this is right now, Shape Bender doesn't seem to be working with the 2019 version of SketchUp. So I'm doing this in the 2018 version of SketchUp. So if you ask me in the comments down below why it isn't working and you're using SketchUp 2019, I'm just going to reference you back to this timestamp in the video. So um, you may need to do this in SketchUp 2018 or hopefully um, Shape Bender gets fixed pretty soon. But either way, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and create our shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my panels. And in this case, I want my panels to be something like 16 feet wide by two inches thick or something like that. So I'm just going to create a rectangle. It's going to be two inches comma 16 feet and hit the enter key. So what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to create my metal piece that's going to be repeated over and over again. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to make that a component. And we can just call this metal strip or something like that. And what we want to do is we want to repeat this a bunch of different times. So we're going to use the move tool in copy mode in order to do that. And let's say we're going to have an eighth inch gap in here. So I'm just going to draw an eighth of an inch line off of the edge here, um, just so I can see where these part where these need to be as they repeat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the move tool in copy mode and I will link to a video about how to do this in the notes down below. But basically you select this tap the M key and tap the control key to go into copy mode. Then you're just gonna single click and move your mouse and you're gonna click to where you want this to go. So I want this to go to the end of this little piece right here. And then without clicking on anything else or doing anything else, I'm gonna type in times and I'm gonna type in, we'll say times 80. Probably should have done 79 so we had an even number, but that's okay. And uh, so what we have now is we have 80 copies of this strip. And uh, since they're components, we just need to come in here and give them some thickness. So we'll say these are gonna be like three quarters of an inch thick or something like that. That may be a little too thick, but that's okay for what we're doing right now. And then I'm also gonna delete out my little edge that was right here. That's gonna get really important in a second. But we wanna go ahead and we wanna take this whole thing and we just wanna select it and I'm just gonna move it off of my axis line for a minute. And so if you remember, what Shape Bender does is Shape Bender allows you to take an object and bend it based on like a target line. So what I'm gonna do first is you need a baseline and then you need a target line. And the baseline needs to be drawn along the red axis in order for this to work. So I've drawn this along the red axis and I've made it the right length. Now I'm gonna use the Move Tool in Copy Mode to move it over here or to create a copy of this over here so that I can use that as kind of a baseline. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the arc tool and I'm gonna draw an arc that bulges up, maybe like two feet or something like that. Um, even that's probably a little bit too much based on what I wanna do right here. So we'll have this bulge up maybe like 12 inches. And then what I wanna do is I wanna continue this arc in the same way along the bottom. So I'm just gonna use the rotate tool in copy mode in order to do that. So you can see how I use the rotate tool um, by selecting this edge and tapping the Q key. I locked it to the green axis by tapping the left arrow key. And then I tapped the control key to turn on copy mode and I used it to make a copy over here. Well, right now the problem with this is that um, Shape Bender isn't going to be able to bend it along this uh, entire curve because this is two different curves and Shape Bender only works on single curves. So what we need to do is we need to take this and select both edges and we're gonna use the extension Weld in order to weld those into an uninterrupted shape. So now what I have is I have a baseline here I have an uninterrupted curve over here and then this needs to be a component. So I'm just gonna take all of this or a group um, and I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna make it a group, not a component. And I'm just gonna move this back 
so that it's sitting on this point. And now we have all the parts and pieces that we need in order to make this work. And the other thing I'm gonna do real quick is this came out a little wider than I expected it to. So I'm just gonna use the scale tool in order to scale this so it's not quite so wide. So I'm gonna scale it so that it's about this wide as opposed to what it was before. But now what we can do is we can use the extension shape bender to bend this group along this path. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna start by selecting our group and we're gonna go up to the extension shape bender and you need to make sure you have that installed in your computer. But I'm just gonna to go to extensions, Chris Fulmer tools, shape bender. And then it's gonna ask me to select my single line on the red axis, which is gonna be my line that I drew over here. So I'm gonna click on that. And then it's gonna ask me for a curve to bend the shape to. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on this curve. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me this preview of what this shape is gonna look like. And you can tap the up arrow key to adjust what your start and end point is on this. So I'm gonna tap the up arrow key so that my start point is right here. And so you can see how that gives me this nice curve shape and I can just hit the enter key and it's just gonna bend this along that curve. And now, because of the way that we created this, we can just move this directly across on the red axis using the move tool in copy mode. And we can move it so that it lines up to this point right here. And then I can type in times three and hit the enter key. And what this does is this gives me this nice kind of repeating metal shape um, that's bent along this curve. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you like this video? Have you used ShapeBender? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.